Hi everyone, Dom and Peter here. I'm coming to you with a little bit of a different video today. Um, I've had a lot of questions uh, in the past and, and recently and a couple of people have emailed me wanting to know about my diamond painting earrings. Now, I have unboxed lots of diamond painting earrings on my channel, so go back and watch the unboxings. Feel free to see where I got them from. The majority of them came from Timu. We're gonna have a look at the earrings on Timu in a minute <clears throat> before I get started and show you what I, how I do mine. But just a disclaimer before we start, this is how I do mine. It's not necessarily how you might want to do yours. Um, this, I'm just showing you what I do and what works for me. Um, you can have a bit of a play around with it and um, especially different sealers and things like that because um, what I like, you might not like. You might have a better sealer that you might think is better. Um, you might, yeah, you might, as something as small as changing different colors on your earrings the diamonds and things if you don't like some of the colors which i've done too so um there's little little changes that you can make yourself but this is just how i do mine um especially the sealing and putting them together so what i thought we might do is we might have a look at the timu website so i'm just going to log in on my computer first sorry guys i should have had this open but i didn't want it to glare So here we go. So this is the Timu website on my computer. Now, if you type in, I just typed in, as you can see up there, diamond painting earrings, you get all these earrings come up that are diamond painted. Now I do have a lot of these. Um, I just haven't done them on my channel yet. Um, I was going to try and find some that I have here already done to show you but I don't know so I unboxed these little cow ones last time uh, I bought earrings I've got lots of these Christmas ones I just haven't finished those ones don't know if I'm going to be able to find the ones that I've got here but I do have lots of these already I just haven't done them so what what you do is you go in and you purchase your earrings obviously so we'll click on these Christmas ones <coughs> $8.73, you get nine, nine, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, nine pairs. So you get, and they're, they're usually double sided. All my earrings have been double sided. Um, so that's not bad. That's Australian dollars, though. I don't know what that would, what currency that would be in American or the UK, but yeah, um, that for, for us, for Australia, for nine pairs of earrings, that's great. So there's the earrings there. Um, as I said, they're Christmas ones. I do have these ones, but I just haven't done them yet. I've got a lot of the earrings. I just haven't done them. So you purchase your earrings, and then when they come, they come in the kit, just like any other normal diamond painting kit. Only these ones, you get the earring fixtures pieces, the findings, the the uh, jump rings and the hooks so these are silver some are gold some are silver just depends um, I'm just trying to open this sorry guys these bags are very hard to open so you get your jump rings now sometimes I use one of these sometimes I use two depending on how I feel at the time and what I think the earrings need and that's up, totally up to you as well um, and you get these little hooks. These are just connected together. If we can just pull them apart. No, that's a bad, a bad one. I have to un undo that. Actually, they look as if they're all joined together. I oh, know. There we go. So, and that's the the hook part. So the jump ring, um, the earring, and the jump ring go in there. Um, I will show you an example in a minute. So you put the, the jump ring through the earring and then it goes through there as well. Now, <clears throat> you get your, your diamonds. These are all crystal. 
Um, I'm not going to take them out because I have unboxed these on my channel. These are just an example of what the kit will look like. You have your symbols on your bags. That is where your diamonds go. So eight will go where eight goes. Equal will go where the equal sign is. And the star. And you've got some alphabet. Now these are butterfly earrings. I haven't done these ones yet, obviously. So this is what they, they look like. That one is actually broken. Oh, no, it's not. It hangs like that. Okay, so some of these hang are uh, different to how you would think they would hang, but they, they actually look really effective when they're done. So that's a pink one. So the jump ring would go through this hole here and then through the hook, and you dye and paint both sides. Now, they are very sticky. Um, so I don't know what other people think, but I definitely think they need sealing. Um, you're going to be wearing them in your ears. You're going, your hair's going to stick to them. Um, you're going to collect dust and dirt. And I've just had a vision in my head of those, uh, you know, those sticky strips that catch bugs. Yeah, you don't want to walk around with bugs, hang, real bugs hanging off your ears. <laughs> so, yuck. So, yeah, they definitely need sealing because they are sticky even when they're diamond painted. Um, I did have a question, a lady asked me a question the other day about that and I <clears throat> did answer her back and say, yeah, they definitely need sealing because they are very sticky when they're, even when they're completed. So these are, so this is a pair of butterflies. The hooks will hang, so they will hang like that. Now you can have them both going the same way or you can change them up and hang them going different ways it's it's totally up to you it's your project so however you feel you know you want to do them so yeah so these are all butterflies I have unboxed these so please feel free to go back and check my videos on my my channel I think I've titled most of them with the diamond painting earrings in the description or in the title um, if you are looking for a set in particular and you can't find them, please let me know and I'll have a look and see if I can find them for you. So that's your diamond painting kit and it will come with a tool kit. I don't have a tool kit in that. I took, I took the tool kit out. But they will always come with the little boat or the tray, the little green tray or a coloured tray, a pen and a piece of wax. And, yeah, and that's how you do your diamond painting, your earrings. Now, I have some here that I have already done. I have some that I have sealed and some that I have not sealed. And I'm going to show you how I seal the ones that aren't sealed. So these are some Christmas ones that I did. And these are sealed. Now, I used two jump rings on these because I want them to face forward like that. If I was to only use one of the jump rings, it would have it would be facing on the side, which is fine too. But because they're Christmas ones, I wanted everyone to see them face on. Now these were sticky all over, even in here, and I sealed them and they're not sticky at all. There's no stickiness there at all. So that's one pair there. This pair was the same. The snowman was very sticky on the face, but he's not now because I've sealed them. And again, I used two jump rings because I wanted them to be faced, facing on the front. Um, <coughs> I love doing these, they're so much fun. The Christmas trees the same I've got them facing on the front and then the Santas was the same and again they're not sticky at all I'm very pleased with how they turned out because they're not sticky I'm going to wear these this Christmas um, yeah very very happy with those they look like an old-fashioned Santa I like those ones so yeah so those ones are completed fully they're sealed everything's done with those ones these ones here I have completed, but I have not sealed. They are sticky. Um, they're, they're sticky around the edge. don't know if you can see that, but my finger's sticking to it. Yeah. Um, I have only put one jump ring on these, so these will uh, hang side on, which is fine. I don't mind that. So, and you've got these ones that will do the same. Very, very pretty. They've turned out really good. I'm very happy with those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal them with you. I'm going to show you how I seal mine. And, um, yeah, I like generally to give my earrings two coats. So I do one side. 
then I'll leave them to dry for a day or, or more. It just depends on the weather. We've got winter here at the moment, so they don't dry very quickly. So I will um, probably leave them for a couple of a good couple of days. Sorry, I thought I had a diamond off there, but it's not. Um, and then I will flip them over and do the other side. And then once that's dried, I'll repeat the process. So I've, I do them twice on each side. That's just me. I like to make sure that they're definitely not sticky and that the diamonds are definitely not going to move because you've got hairspray and all sorts of things near, near your earrings with your hair and you don't want the diamonds to move or fall off or get stuck in your hair or whatever. So, yeah, so I definitely, I, I definitely do mine with two coats. Now I get a piece of plastic. <coughs> this was just a piece of plastic that I got. Um, in a diamond painting kit it's really thick and I place my earrings on that and seal them that way it's not very flat so we might do it around this way now the sealer that I use for these I have in the past used a spray that I get from my hardware store now bearing in mind I come from Australia I don't have a lot of sealers that you guys have overseas I haven't been able to get Minwax now is it Minwax or Minwax? Min, Minwax. Um, I know Diamond Grandma uses it, but when I went and asked the hardware store, they had no idea what I was asking for here. So I don't, assuming that's not Australian thing. So I in, I did get a spray, a bottle of spray um, sealer from the hardware store. And I have used it in the past, but I wasn't real fussed on it because the diamonds still seemed to move slightly. And, yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't real fussed on it. So I've gone to a diamond sealer that I bought from a cheap shop. Now, I've just got a normal paintbrush here. It's a normal paintbrush. And this is a budget-friendly diamond painting sealer that I bought from one of the budget-friendly companies. Now, you can get this from Timu. You can get it from Fancells, GBFKE, One Day Saving, um, any of those, even Amazon, any of those... Um, budget friendly companies that usually wherever you get diamond paintings they sell a sealer as well so yeah and I have found that this one's really good I like this there's not a lot left but I should have enough to do these earrings <clears throat> now you don't water this down or anything it does come with a little thing in there that you can squeeze the glue onto but I prefer to use a paintbrush I just find that it gets all over the the diamonds better so I just pick it up and I do one side at a time and I just make sure that I get in all the diamonds and around the outside where it's sticky. Sorry, I'm out of focus there a bit. I just make sure that I get in all those little tiny bits. And that will dry clear so don't worry if it looks as if it's a bit cloudy on the, the stones. It will definitely dry clear so that's one side done so i'll put that side down to dry then we'll do the other earring now as i said this is how i do it you might necessarily find you might not necessarily want to do it this way you might find a better way that's fine you do what you know what suits you this is just how i've done mine and i'm happy with the way mine turn out so everyone has their own little way of doing things and um yeah and you soon you soon it's trial and error and there's no right or wrong way you just do what suits you and um yeah and go from there basically so sorry i seem to be out of focus a lot there i had a shot but yeah i've had a lot of uh questions and emails and I know a lot of people are buying hair clips and brooches and and it's the same same sort of similar thing as hair clips and brooches. You just um, make them up and then sometimes I don't always put the hooks on these. I wanted to put the hooks on to show you. These are gold hooks, by the way. These came with the gold ones. I wanted to show you with them made up. Um, I'll show you what I use in a minute to make them up with. But, yeah, I just wanted to... Put the hooks on these ones just to show you a completion so 
make sure that gets all around those sticky parts on the outside. So that's the those two sets done. So I'll leave them to dry, as I said, for a good one or two days. Um, and then it might not need even to be that long. It just depends how sticky they are. But as I said, with our weather at the moment, because it's winter, they're not drying very quickly. So I will leave them to dry until they're fully dry and they're not sticky on that side. And then I will turn them over and do the other side. And then I'll repeat and do another coat. Um, because, yeah, I, th I found doing two coats on these worked really well. Now, when you're doing the... Um, I'll just quickly show you with the butterfly one. I normally don't put a pair together. Well. I'll put the hooks on a pair to show you how to do it in case you're not sure. Because I wasn't sure and I watched some videos myself. And I saw some people making earrings up. Because I, I, I did jewellery years ago, but it's been a long time since I've put earrings together. Oops knocking my sealer over. So we've got our butterfly earrings. Pretend that they're diamond painted. <laughs> we've got our little hole up in here. So what we do is we get out. Now I'm only going to use one um, one of these little round pieces in these. I'm not going to use two because I don't know that I have enough. I do have another kit in my craft room somewhere with extras, but I just don't know what I've done with it at the moment. Can't find anything in my craft room at the moment. Uh, so we need two hooks and two jump rings. That's the name of them. I couldn't think of the name of them. Jump rings. So you take your jump ring and you find the opening, which is, you probably can't see it, but it's, it's, it's there. There's a little opening. Now, I have two, I bought these pliers off Timu as well. I hold the jump ring with one and I use the other one and I move the ring out. Never pull it back, always twist it out. And then that will go, now I'm losing it, that will go into the corner of the butterfly. And then the hook part will go in there as well then you grab hold of it and then you bring it back and you close it those rings aren't very sturdy actually those jump rings I'm not real fussed on them but there's one that I've just done so once that's diamond painted and sealed that will look beautiful in someone's ear they make great presents. Um, I'm going to be doing a market stall and I'm going to try selling some of them at the market stalls. But, um, yeah, I think they look great. So, and then, yeah, and then you do the same with the other one. So we'll do the other one while we're here. These jump rings aren't the best. They're very flimsy, but, again, you can, you can buy... A packet of jump rings like I did off Timu very cheaply and you've got extras and you can use those if you're not happy with these ones. So that goes in there. That will go on there. And then we will close it. Just like that. There you go. And then you have a set of earrings and I just need diamond painting and sealing and that's it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these. Um, as I said, I've had lots of people asking and inquiring about them. Um, you know, do they stay sticky when they're diamond painted? Yes, they will until you seal them. Um, I mean, it's up to you whether you seal them or not. You don't have to. But as I said, you'll have hairs and, and dust and possibly bugs and things sticking on them. And it's just not nice wearing a pair of earrings that's sticky in your ears either. So, um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend sealing them. As I said, I do two coats. That's up to you whether you want to do one or two. Um, but, yeah, so if you have any other questions um, – or you'd like to ask me anything else, just please don't hesitate to put down 
in the comments or email me. My email is in the description box. But this is how I do it. As I said, it's not necessarily how everyone does it. Everyone does things differently. But this is the, the system that works for me and this is how I found um, getting rid of that stickiness off the earrings, as I said, is certainly a big priority when they're done because you don't want to be wearing sticky earrings. And, um, and they're very light, very lightweight as well. Um, there's nothing... There's no heaviness to any of the diamond painting earrings at all. You wouldn't even know they're in your ears. They're very, very light. So, um, so yeah, just, uh, yeah, give it a try. I would anyway. There's lots of YouTubers on, um, there's lots of content creators on YouTube that have done them. Um, and I know Louise from Crazy Borgies did some, some earrings. I know um, Crafty Cat, um, she did some earrings as well. I know Crafting with Kay has purchased earrings and done some. So yeah, um, I think they're great. I I like them and as I said, they may make good gifts. You can put them in a little bag with a little, you know, a little personal little card and it's something that's homemade from you. So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been, you know, I hope it's been fairly helpful. Um, if, as I said, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to email or comment below and I will get back to you. But um, yeah, enjoy your day, evening, night, wherever you are. It is, it's Tuesday the 13th of August here. It's 10.30 in the morning. So I'm going to go in a minute and have a cup of tea. Um, I've, I've already done some housework and I just wanted to pop in and do, do this to show because I've had some questions. So yeah anyway have a um have a nice time diamond painting or crafting whatever you're doing and i'll talk to you again in the next video bye everyone